These look the same as the stem plots that we looked at in an earlier tut, only they have leaves going out either side from a central set of, set of stems, and it looks like this. This is one that appeared on the 2006 exam one, so the multiple choice, and there were three questions that related to this back-to-back -back stem plot. One was to do with whether they're categorical or numerical data, another one was to do with finding the range, and another one was to do with describing the shape. So what we've generally looked at is stem plots that are just this side of it. They have a stem here and then they have leaves coming out that way. When you put two stem plots back to back like this, it works the same way. They share the same set of stems and they just have different leaves either side. So you would use this when you're comparing some numerical data to two categorical pieces of data. So for example, if you had gender and you were looking at heights of male and female, then these are two categories and then you've got some numerical data. So that's another thing you might present on a back-to-back -back stem plot. So you have two categories and you've measured something within each of those two categories. That's when you'd use a back-to-back -back stem plot. So the thing to watch out for is that in the stem plots we're used to seeing that come out to the right here, you have the lowest number closest to the stem and the numbers continue on outwards going from left to right. So for example here we have 3, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, they're continuing going out that way. On the left hand side when you have stems in the centre and leaves coming off this way, it works the opposite way in a sense because we put the lowest number closest to the stem, closest to this bar, and the numbers count away. So the lowest number is here closest to the stem, the next lowest number is here, and they get higher and higher as you progress out from right to left. So that's something to watch out for. This one here is also using split stems. And all that means is that rather than having, for example, on this line, the line that starts with a stem of two, there's a lot of numbers coming out either side. So rather than just having one, two, and putting all of those numbers going all the way out to the left or all the way out to the right, they split each stem up into two groups. So this is the lower twos, and this is the higher twos. So anything that's a 0, a 1, a 2, a 3 or a 4 would come next to this lower stem and then anything that's a 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 would come next to the higher stem. And if you're using split stems you have to use it all the way down for all your stems. You can't just split up the 2's and then have 3, 4, 5 for example. Now their lowest stem here is a higher stem of 1 because this is 5 and up so they would have another one down here except there's no leaves next to it because there's nothing that falls 0 to 4 as uh, leaves on either side here. So they've got a higher 1, a lower 2, a higher 2, a lower 3, a higher 3, a lower 4, a higher 4 and those are their split stems. Working with back-to-back -back stem plots is very similar to just one-sided stem plots. So long as you remember that the numbers on this left side are counting from the bar and moving away. So if we were asked to find the range of this side, of just the beach side, side, <laughs> this would be the highest number, which is a 38, and this here would be the lowest number, which is a 15. So to find the range, you would say 38 minus 15. You find the median on a back-to-back -back stem plot in the same way. You just find the median for each side separately. So one from the bottom, one from the top, one from the bottom, one from the top, this is the next highest number, one from the bottom, one from the top, one from the bottom, one from the top, this is the next highest number, one from the bottom, one from the top, one, two, three, one, two, three, one from the bottom, one from the top, one from the bottom, one from the top, this here is the median same as doing it over on this side, you just have to be careful of which is the lowest number and which is the highest number. So over here this is the lowest number, we're going left to right is low numbers to high numbers, and over here we're going inwards, this is highest numbers on the edge. So this is one from the bottom, one from the top, bottom, top, bottom, top, this is the next highest number here, bottom, top, one, two, three, one, two, three, this is the next highest number, one, two, one, two, one, two, that would be your median. 
and describing shape works very similarly as with normal box plots. So for example this one on the edge, here we've got something that looks roughly symmetrical around about this peak, it's balanced going down either side, but you've got a couple of outliers sticking out here. So this side is symmetrical with outliers. This side it's not as clear, but if I put my pen on the top of this peak here I probably want to roll down the hill that way. So it's got a slight positive skew to it because my pen is pointing towards positive numbers and there are no obvious outliers on that one.